Yo gang, welcome to your 11th REST API tutorial and in this video we're going to talk about our delete requests. So now we know how to handle post requests and save data to the database, I want to turn our attention to delete requests and how to remove data from the database. So remember, we've already set up our empty route handler for delete requests right here at the bottom of this API.js file. And at the minute, all we're doing is sending this simple response of an object with a type property of delete to say, hey, you've made a delete request. Really what we want to be doing in here is communicating with MongoDB to delete a ninja and then grabbing that ninja and returning it to the user on the front end to the client so they know which ninja has been deleted. So how are we going to do all that? Well, let's break this down. First of all, let's look at the route. So it's forward slash API, forward slash ninjas, forward slash ID. And this ID is preceded by this semicolon right here, which says, hey, this bit is a route parameter. So I'm not actually looking for the URL of forward slash ID. I want this last bit right here to be picked up as a route parameter. So basically, whatever a user types in here, we're going to be able to access this route parameter in here. So if I type in one, two, three, four, five, then that corresponds to this route parameter, which I can access in this function. But how do I access it? Well, I can access it from this request object. And all I need to do is say request.params, because this is a route parameter, and then say dot ID, which corresponds to this thing right here. So if this was ninja, then this thing right here would be ninja to access it. Make sense? But it's not, it's ID, so let's just revert those. Cool. So now if I type in forward slash one, two, three, four, five, then I'm going to get one, two, three, four, five return to me in this request.params.id property. So let's just log this to the console just to test a few different params if you like. So let's surround this in parentheses, save it, and then let's go and make this request. So it's a delete request, and we're putting in this as the ID right here. So if I send now, check this out in the console, we should see this one, two, three, four, five, logged to the console. Cool. So it works. So if I type Yoshi and press send again, now we see Yoshi logged to the console. Okay, cool. So we know how to access this route parameter that a user types in, but how can we use this to go and delete something from the database? Well, let's have a look in our database. So far, we've got these two different records right here. And you'll notice that each one of them has a unique ID, an object ID associated with them, right? So it would be good if a user or the client rather would type in or send this ID as part of the route here, this unique ID. So then what we can do is access this unique ID here, communicate with MongoDB, which is going to look in the database, find the object associated with this unique ID, return it to us, delete it and send it back to the user. OK, so let's do that. So we can do that pretty simply. It sounds complex, but we can do it in pretty much one method. And that method is called find by ID and remove and is provided to us by Mongoose. So let's just get rid of this first of all. We don't need this anymore. And instead, what I'm going to do is say ninja dot find by ID and remove. OK, so this ninja, remember, refers to the ninja model, which we required right here at the top. OK, this is a mongoose method. So what we need to do now is pass along that unique ID here. We need to pass along an object and we're saying we want to look for the ID. It's underscore ID. And I can show you that if you look in one of these objects, it's underscore ID. That's the property name. And then we're saying that is going to be equal to whatever they provide to us as this parameter right here. So we'll say request dot params dot ID. So if we send along this ID right here in this bit here, when we get to this route handler, it's going to say ninja dot find by ID and remove. It's going to look for the ID property and try and match it to the ID that we pass it as the route parameter right there. And then if it finds it, it's going to take some time. It's going to return to us a promise. I can say dot then to fire a function only when this is complete, this part right here. OK, so when it's done, it fires this function and returns to us the ninja which it has removed. So then what we can do is send a response by saying res.send and then send the ninja that it has removed and passed back to us right here. So let's delete that. And if I save this now, we can test this out in a browser. 
So not in the browser, sorry, in Postman. So what we want to do is get one of these unique IDs. So I'm just going to right click and go to edit documents so I can copy this unique ID right here and then I can paste it in this request. So I'm sending this now. So we get this ninja back, you can see it's returned to us. So what's happened? We've passed that in. We've said find by ID and remove, match the ID which we just passed in to the ID within Mongo. Uh, remove it, then pass that ninja back and send it as a response, which we have here. Let's just check in Robo Mongo if we refresh over here. Yeah, we can only see one now. That ninja has been removed. Cool. So there we go. That is how we remove uh, records from MongoDB. In the next tutorial, what I want to do is take a look at updating existing data using put requests.